This is a great story, Grumpy Monkey, but on your project, it's up to you to decide which kind of facial expression you want your monkey to have. So to be, today to begin drawing out your monkey, begin out with a basic light drawing of, it almost reminds me of Mickey Mouse face in the center, with an oval for the head, two large big ears, a branch for your monkey to hang on, and maybe some hands for him as well. You'll notice that in my pencil line, I always start out drawing very lightly because then it's a lot easier to erase until I've got it right. So start light with your pencil until you've got it right. Once you've drawn in some of your um, basic monkey shapes, here's a handout that'll give some different expressions that you could use into your monkey's face. Instead of mine being grumpy, I've pointed one out that I'm interested in drawing and I'll use that as a basic starting point to begin drawing my monkey's face. The expression, the feeling, the emotion that I want my monkey to have. Once I've penciled in my work, I'm going to take a black oil pastel and start drawing out and making that monkey stand out amongst that pencil line now that I have what I kind of want to show. Once I've done it in black oil pastel, the other thing that I'm thinking about using my black oil pastel for, rather than just outlining my pencil work, is I want to be able to show texture into this project. So once I've got my object, my grumpy monkey, um, drawn out, I'm going to use my black oil pastel to make it look like a visual texture. I want my monkey to look soft and fuzzy or hairy, and so I'm using my black oil pastel to show that visual texture, to make my monkey not look smooth, but instead furry. Same with my tree branch that my monkey is hanging on. With my what, excuse me, with my blue, yellow, and green oil pastel, I'm going to add in a few leaves and designs for my background. Your leaves can be any color. It'll be nice for variety to show different colors of leaves so that when I paint over top of them, they'll look like different colors. I'm grabbing a brown oil pastel as well to make it look like some vines of the jungle that my monkey could be. Once I've finished using my oil pastels into my project, I'm going to take some watercolors now and start adding colors into my background. When I use my watercolors today, you'll notice I'm constantly going back from the water to the paint so that I can see the oil pastel shine through with my watercolors. If you put your paint on too thick and cannot see the oil pastel leaf that you drew, why don't you try either adding a little more water so that we can see the leaf through the paint, or you might want to try using a different color than in your paint to make those colors stand out. The areas that I've started using yellow, I thought that might show up some of my blue leaves, and so on and so forth. When I started painting my monkey, I thought my branch might be brown, so instead of using brown on my monkey, I'm using some orange. I almost feel like it reminds you of a brown color, even though it's orange, because that black has a tendency to make it look a little darker. So I used yellow for my monkey's face, orange for the monkey's body, and then I'm going to be using brown watercolors for the branch that the monkey is hanging on. Doesn't this project really look cool? I love the way the oil pastel resist is showing some of my visual textures into this project. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Thanks everyone. Happy art making.